one of the big topics today in the market is without a doubt Walmart and its guidance cut that it announced last night. It's simply reverberating through uh, retail land. Now, remember, when we cut Walmart back in early June, we were concerned about what we called the bloated excess inventories that it had, candidly, a record level of inventory for the company over the last 20 years, and what the implications could be for its margins. And that's exactly what was confirmed last night with the guidance cut out of Walmart. Um, Walmart also said, though, too, that it's seeing consumers kind of shift their spending around, really focusing on necessities in food, not discretionary items. Again, another confirming data point for us uh, and why we continue to like Costco. Uh, remember, Costco doesn't have a lot of uh, apparel compared to, say, Walmart. That's really focused on uh, more necessary items and, uh, in particular, food. So we, we continue to see Walmart's comments as strength. Uh, as Walmart's comments reverberate through, again, overall retail land, we're going to continue to keep our eyes on Costco. If the shares continue to weaken, it could be an opportunity to snap them up uh, and build out our position. Now, and again, we, why do we like Costco compared to other retailers? Because of its differentiated membership business model. With regard to Walmart, even though we once owned it, we are going to continue to stay on the sidelines with that name.